ride has been given. The jumpers are completing their final gear checks and move to the doors in the rear of the aircraft. And the jumpers are out, and the smoke is on! The initial part of the formation is called the base, and it forms quickly as these jumpers interlock their arms and legs to form the nucleus of the formation. The remaining jumpers set up slightly above and outside of the formation. As they get closer and closer to the formation, they use their hands, arms, legs, and shoulders to allow them to safely complete the formation. The formation continues to fly at 120 miles per hour as the free fall photographer circles the formation. At 4,500 feet, the team leader will wave his arms, signaling all jumpers to perform our bomb burst maneuver. And there you have the high-flying black and gold of your United States Army Parachute Team, the Golden Knights. Now, as you may have guessed, these jumpers are faced with a unique situation, a traffic jam in the sky. They must gain vertical separation to allow for individual approaches into the target area. This is accomplished by pulling down on the front part of the parachute and spiraling down at speeds of over 60 miles per hour to set up a traffic pattern just like you might see aircraft at a busy airport. The parachutes used by the Golden Knights are flexible wing gliders. Constructed on the line. to turn right, the jumper simply pulls down the right steering line. As the jumpers near the ground, they will pull down on both steering lines simultaneously for the safest and softest possible landing. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Sergeant First Class, Johnny E. Wall, flying to the target area. The United States Army Parachute Team was formed in 1959 at the home of the Airborne, Fort Bragg, North Carolina. There, the team consisted of 19 original members. Each was selected to assist. Ladies and gentlemen, this includes our performance for the day. Now, on behalf of the entire team, I would like to thank each and every one of you for being such a warm and receptive Airborne audience. In closing, I leave you with this final thought. In the future, may all of your days be prosperous and your nights golden. Staff Sergeant Travis Dowdy, thank you, sir.
50th anniversary of the United States Air Force. In 2010, the Air Force Heritage Flight Foundation joined with the United States Air Force to keep this popular program flying. From this gathering was born the Heritage Flight, a unique visual representation of Air Force history from days from the Army Air Corps to the present. Folks, we're going to get this F-35 out of the way. Now. I'm now back in the safety of my home here. This is just you that can help me out with this. Prefer well, you are a pilot. Well, I am a pilot. I'm just not a very good one. I'm, I, I learned that in marginal aviation. You know those guys. All right, uh, Clem, just kind of hold it right there, and then you can land. Just, just pull the power back a little bit. Don't hit that school bus, though. Just pull, pull it. Oh, Lord, have mercy. He shot his tire off. He's got a wheel prop now. He does have a wheel prop now. Bennett, come here for a minute. Bennett, come on, come on over here. This is Bennett. Bennett, you're, you're from Georgia. Yes, I am. Yeah, can you tell him something? Tell him to quit doing them loop de loops, but speak Southernese now. I don't know if speak Southernese. You sound like you speak Southernese. <laughs> Clem, come on now, slow down this for, for temporary. Hey, let me see if I can talk to you. Clem, just line it up there and touch down, okay? Nothing to it. Oh. 
I think Daisy Duke's in that truck if that helps. Let's see. He's lying. He's working hard. Look at this guy. He is really working hard. Hold, hold on to it, Clem. Maybe you want to be 17, be 25, be 17. You can wave at Clem as he comes on by. But make a family plan, though. He's got a, he's got a moon pie in his mouth. Look at that. RC in his belly. Better known as Greg Coots. Fred Masters played Grandpa there. That's Mr. Don, the guy who built the airplane. Thank <laughs> you. 